Hi, welcome to Heart of Philly. We're, tonight we're with Angela Vellucci. Hi, Angela. Hi, how are you? How are you? Nice to see you. And we're going to learn a little bit about trend setting and what the fashions are today. And, and you're going to help us in a big way to know what the coming fashions are going to be maybe this fall yes. and, and what you're seeing, OK? Mm -hmm. OK, so um, what are you doing here tonight first? OK, well, I'm at the Camden County Library in Voorhees. And I do a class every season. So the fall season, we're going to talk about the biggest trends from the animal prints to the bright colors. Um, we have leather, we have faux fur. Um, for men's, we have mix and match from the different prints on top, different prints on bottom, and bright colors as well. So it's, and then retro, of course, big, big trends, retro from both men's and women's. So I'm gonna show the audience a little of everything and you as well. Great, great. So okay. let's um, show you a little, the different trends. First we have the animal print. It's very big from snakeskin to the leopard, the snow leopard. This can come in so many different colors, bright colors, just a neutral. And then we have a sheer top. Sheer's very big, whether it's sleeveless or um, sleeve. Um, it could be anything. It's great. Now, can this be worn with, I know this might sound crazy, but I get ideas as you're speaking. Can this be worn over something like a turtleneck because of this year? So in the fall, can you throw this over like a? Yeah, this, this is a great piece to put over a cardigan. So if you're, maybe it's casual Fridays, mm -hmm. put this on, maybe have black slacks. If it's um, skinny black slacks, um, the flare, that's big. You can mix and match each of the trends from the retro to the sheer and put the cardigan on and maybe if you have a faux um, fur vest, you can put that in your um, car or closet, um, throw that on and then you have another outfit to go out with at night. So, so is it versatile. all about layering then? You can have well, sheer and then I add always, different fabrics too, yes, right? Yes, I always fabrics. say that layering is big in the fall because weather changes so much. I mean, look, yesterday or the day before it was hot and now it's freezing. So it's all about layering, keeping something maybe in the work drawer, the work closet, your car, depending on where you work. So it's definitely layering and you can see from the different um, slides that I'll have or you can see on the rack, it's all about layering with the different trends. I have a question. Sure. Because I see something here. And this, bring, this brings me back a little bit too. Okay. But, <laughs> but the cart long cart sweater cardigans are mm -hmm. with the fur collars. That was in a few years ago, but now we're seeing them again. Yes, is that and true? that's what's great about trends is they come back so much. So you think, uh, well, either this doesn't fit or this is not in style. You keep it, and but then you have to have have room for more trends to come or more styles or. For some people's sake, like myself, you know, you have to leave room for bigger sizes or smaller sizes. <laughs> so, but this is great. Um, we have a lot of sweater um, sweater skirts, excuse me, that you can belt. This is more of a cardigan, mm -hmm. but I've seen this a lot in stores, online shopping, uh, sweater dress. And you can easily belt it. And there you go. So, so this tights. this actually could be worn like a sweater dress, maybe with tights and boots. Right? Oh yeah, this is this is really versatile in that aspect. But um, it depends what you're comfortable with. I always say that when I talk to my clients or an audience, it's what you're comfortable with, especially with the trends, because you know you see that on the runway, and they're for skinny minis. But you can get them in all different sizes. Great. So, so the object is you could save a few things from every decade. Definitely. Your favorites, right? I always say <laughs> save them. I mean, you can give them to me. Okay. I keep them for um, the next decade or so. And then again, the faux fur vest. This is very big. You can use this as a coat. You know, like you said, the turtleneck, put this um, underneath. You can use this for any event. You can dress something up. Uh, you don't want to dress it down because this is very, I think it's very dressy looking. Expensive Ange looking. Angelo, here. I have seen the vest even over a dress. Like yes. it's just a, a dress with a fur vest over it. Oh, Whether yeah. it's a long you know, evening dress or something shorter, it, it, it works, doesn't it? It, it really does. Um, I've seen cropped, I've seen long, I've seen long sleeved, and it works all different 
um, avenues. It, even a vest with a short sleeve top under mm -hmm. it. I've been seeing that too. It's more like a poncho type, um, you know, to keep your shoulders warm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. What and else do we have here? Next, I love this. Um, at Kohl's is J Lo. I love J Lo's line. Um, got hair. Um, it's very retro themed. Um, Pan Am, I like to call it. <laughs> um, reference to the shoulders, the silhouette. Um, it's great. It stretches. So whatever um, figure you have. You know, it does hug, hug the curve of your body. So this is great for any type of event. This looks like a style, too, that never would go out of style. Mm -hmm. This looks like you could have it now, and then 20 years from now, still pull it out of the closet Definitely. and wear it. <laughs> well, I always say, depending on how much it is, who knows it'll fall last. Because, you know, nowadays it depends on what it's made of and the quality. That's true. But cool. it's a great dress. And then, of course, this brings you to the bright um, colors. The trend that's going now is the cardigan. Cute color, bright, and that carries over from the spring. So you can use your um, stuff from the spring, bring it over to the fall, pair it up with maybe this, you know, if you work in the office. Oh, that looks good. I like that idea. You know, because some offices will not allow you to um, show some sleeve or shoulder, and you can even belt it to make it cinch waist. And then of course, the leather trend, um, leather pants, um, go for the biker um, theme. You don't have to necessarily go for the biker theme, but you know, leather detail here and there or on the coat. Um, a lot of the stores have the leather detail where it's um, fringed on the side, or like I said, just any detail. You're with the trend, and um, and as you're speaking about this, the certain biker look too. Mm -hmm. Even with the boots and the chains and the, the handbags too, have mm -hmm. some chain detail on them. Yes. So I think that's some, that's nice. That's yeah. So nice. you're going, you know, back to the rough and tough look. We're rough and tough, <laughs> and we're feminine all yes. at the same time, right? <laughs> okay. And then I did pull some guys because this is the first season that I am doing some um, guy trends. Um, so for the guys, there are a lot of bright clothes, a retro. So I figured even though it doesn't have the, um, the number logo on the side of the coat, this is great because I, this is Forever 21 and very cheap um, in price. But it's like a wind jacket. You can wear this out and just put like a bright um, colored shirt underneath. Or you can even do one of the band shirts and you have uh, leather theme, the rough and tough, or you can, you know, put the working boots underneath that are really big this season as well as last season. Oh, that sounds. Now, so would this be would up. this be worn with jeans? You can wear this in with, jeans. You okay. can wear black jeans, skinny jeans, boot okay. cut. Okay, great, really nice. And then, of course, I have the bright shirt here, buttoned down. It's not ironed. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the checkered, which is really big. All, all the time. And this is something that I'm seeing this a lot now. I'm oh, seeing yes. it and the um, age range too of, of young guys and older guys. They're all mm -hmm. wearing this. This is coming back. I love this because it's not the typical lumberjack. Mm -hmm. It has a smaller print. Yes. Right. And the feel is totally different if you feel that because it's just regular. Cotton, cotton button down, yeah, and mm -hmm. it's not the wool or the regular flannel. Um, but yeah, it's really good. And I have another big um, trend is the cropped pants. So you can do a whole outfit like that and then have maybe loafers oh. or you can throw boots underneath. Um, if they're high boots, you have an outfit. Oh, that's nice. And Very then, of nice. course, jeans, denims are always in. So this is another, you know, jacket that you can throw in there with a hood. Hood is everywhere with jackets from the blazer to just a um, regular jacket, jean jacket, leather jacket. And then of course the fedora and then we have a regular retro hat. Oh, that's big. cool. So. Now is this, can women wear these too? Yeah, women because can I've, wear that. Because I've seen 
don't know how I'm feeling here, but how would you do this, Angela? How would yeah, you, you can do it? put it to mm -hmm. the side, and it would you know it would really look okay. nice with the leather pants, and you can go with Ooh, you know cool. a night on the town heels. <laughs> <laughs> And what else would I need with this? <laughs> well, I don't have that in the closet. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I work for Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week in New York and Miami um, each season. And then Miami is for the swim in July. So it's the swimsuits and then the swimwear. And then I do work closely with Nicole Miller. She does have a PR company in Philadelphia, so I get to work the different um, events there with Mary Kay Doherty. I'm not sure if you're familiar with her. I've heard of her, yeah. yes. She's, she's a good yes. <laughs> And then I have two pictures there with um, Nicole Miller. I do um, do events with Macy's. Um, I freelance with them. And then I've done a couple um, events with Heroes and Heels. It's more of an organization where they give back to the community the many, money they made for like cancer survivors or people that have cancer. It's almost like um, Make-A-Wish Foundation, but for adults. And what area do they have that in? Is that a national they, thing? It's a national organization, but mm -hmm. this one was local in Philadelphia. Oh, great. At the old um, Real World House. Okay. Um, I'm not sure of the street, but it was in Philadelphia. Um, I've done events in Saks Fifth Ave in Philadelphia. And then I did have an internship at Anthropology doing visual and merchandising. And then the next um, internship I did with House of Talent where I did a couple of my styling for their house models and events. And then the big, big internship I did was Marie Claire Magazine oh. in the summer. I got to work closely with um, the different editors, Joanna, Nina Garcia, um, and I helped, you know, run around the city doing not coffee runs, but I ran <laughs> and picked up the garments for Sarah Jessica Parker, Reese Witherspoon, and now on newsstands, um, Katie Holmes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we all know who she yeah. is. <laughs> actually, the funny thing, I'll tell you a little secret. Okay. They were actually supposed to be um, on different months. She was supposed to be September. She was supposed to be November. Oh, okay. Inside scoop. And then I actually got the chance to be on Project Runway. Um, episode four, when they made the garment for Nina Garcia, and if you see in the corner, yeah. thank goodness I didn't get edited out, but I was edited <laughs> out in the magazine as they showed a picture of the different event throughout the day of when they were in the closet and such. But it was a good experience, and then um, Tommy Hilfiger, I am a student at Philadelphia University, majoring in fashion industry management. So I am on the board for FIA, Fashion Industry Association. So we produce our big show at the end of the year and two small events um, in the beginning of the year, but we do other events throughout the year producing fashion shows. So I'm a busy, busy man. <laughs> <laughs> He's still very, very busy. But you know what? I love to be busy because that's yeah. how I keep myself sane. Right. But Tommy Hilfiger came to our school to have a lunch, take a tour, and our group got to help because he couldn't make the show in April. So he made it up to the school, had a Q&A, and again, had lunch. So it was a really good, big deal to the school and to myself. You know, a fashion head that big um, came to our school. So it was a really good experience. So what's the next thing coming in the future here with you? The next big step for me, well, mm -hmm. I'm a senior, so I'm graduating in May. Um, I just, my ultimate goal is to be a fashion stylist. I would love to continue doing this um, with audience talking about trends, body types. Um, would love to have my own business one day, but ultimately a stylist, fashion stylist, let's clarify that, fashion stylist, um, one day definitely. And I'd like to thank the two companies that donated the food for the event, Classic Cakes and Pat's Chocolate Village. They were very um, nice to donate these um, tasty treats for this event, so thank you very much.
I love you, heart of Philly.